Belladonna. I heard Belladonna just don't smile no more. I heard she all beautiful and broken like a fucking poet's heart nowadays. They say girls like her can't tell a garden apart from a cemetery. But I remember when you could see the sunset in her eyes if you look close enough. When her mind used to be Shakespeare's imagination after midnight. I remember when she used to smile like the first three minutes of a slumber party. She was sexy back then. But not like those girls in the magazine. She was sexy for the way she pondered things. Back then, I could climb a three-story fire escape just to say goodnight to her, even though I was afraid of heights. Back then, I was skinny dipping to an ocean of her in a heartbeat, even though I couldn't swim. Back then, I would open up my heart for her like a diary, and she would spill her soul inside of me like a journal. Back then, Stevie Wonder could make an album out of her walk. She was the kind of beautiful you flaunt in art galleries and shit, and, and she, was, she was music. The kind of music that could even make a wallflower dance, and you never really notice because she wore her unique like ponytails and sweatpants on a Sunday morning. Because Belladonna was real like that. She was the kind of girl who hated Halloween and masquerades. I asked her why. She told me, listen to what she told me. She told me because it made people think it was okay to wear a mask. I held her close that night. Like she was the last dandelion on earth and we slow danced like two full moons across the forever sky. She whispered in my ear and told me she was afraid of falling in love. I asked her why. She said because she was afraid of heights. I told her I can be a parachute. She said she would rather me be a shooting star instead so that when I land, she can make thousands of wishes out of me. I laughed. Yo, I laughed like I had a mouth full of Skittles. She laughed like a girl with a heart full of secrets. I told her I always wanted a woman with a stare hot enough to melt the demons out of me. She told me her heart was 90% ocean. I told her I couldn't wait to cannonball into it. She told me the 90% that remains unexplored. I told her, man, I told her I'd be on some Jack Cousteau type shit. She just smiled though. Like an island would if it had lips back then I hadn't known that oceans were more mystery than moon We kissed that night Like two tipsy virgins playing spin the bottle in mama's living room We kissed that night Like each kiss was its own confession I tasted a thousand goodbyes on her tongue that night But I ain't, I ain't know nothing about farewells back then And I ain't know that girls like her were a needle in a haystack back then Because after her, every girl looked like a one night stand and every kiss tasted like a love affair. I couldn't even tell a girl she was beautiful without lying my ass off. I guess that's how real it be when you come down from a high like her. I read this quote the other night by Juno Diaz. It says something like, she was the kind of girl God gives you young, so you'll know lost the rest of your life. Shit. I think it's safe to say Juno might have known a Belladonna too. That night was the last time I seen her. And I heard a lot of bad things about Belladonna since then. Some I believe, some I wish I didn't. But none of it really surprises me anymore. Because I already know what this world makes of girls like her. So now I just write poems. To give the Belladonna I knew. Everything this world didn't.